This segment is sponsored by Gardein. October is National Vegetarian Month, and we're joined today by Carissa Galloway. She's a registered dietitian nutritionist with some great advice on getting some plant power into our diets. It's great to see you, Carissa. Thank you. It's great to be here. Such a fun time of year, and I love being able to talk about plant power. This is such a fun topic. You're right. And for those friends who maybe haven't yet tried vegetarian style or work to do the more plant-based uh, foods into their diet, it's easier than you're thinking it will be, right? Like we can all tackle this. Yeah. So when we think about, you know, the word vegetarian, really it's kind of a range of eight different diets ranging from a pescatarian that actually still eats fish to what we typically think as a vegetarian, which is a lacto ovo vegetarian, meaning they don't consume meat, but they do, do eat eggs and dairy. And then all the way to a vegan who's not gonna consume any animals or any animal byproducts, even avoiding things like honey or gelatin. So it's a range. And even people who are meat eaters and they love their meat can get a benefit by adding in more plants into their diet. So definitely a couple of different options there that you went through. So maybe mm -hmm. as you tiptoe into trying out vegetarianism, you know, one of those might be a best fit for you. But as you said, we can all benefit from working more plants in really across the board. Definitely. There's so many benefits of, of plants, the phytonutrients, the fiber, which most Americans aren't getting enough of. So I want you to use October and Vegetarian Awareness Month as a catalyst to think about maybe trying a meatless diet, maybe just trying a meatless meal, or maybe shifting a snack to get in more plants of plants in to get the benefits of all those nutrients. And think about plant protein too. It's not just fruits and vegetables. A lot of plants have protein in them that's going to help nourish our bodies too. And there's a lot of plant-based alternatives out there. It's much easier to eat vegetarian than it used to be at the grocery store. So we've got a lot of great options for you now. You've got a couple of options right there in front of you, and it couldn't be easier than trying this. Yeah, so I love sharing new products with people because I like to kind of get you out there, get you to know what's coming out. And so these are Gardein soups. And some people out there might know Gardein because they have a wide variety of meatless frozen food options. But this is actually their first ever line of soups featuring plant-based alternatives. And I think they're gonna be a cold weather favorite. I don't know if anybody out there is ready to think about cold weather yet, but. They're going to be a cold weather favorite for anybody seeking an alternative to traditional meat-based soup. Absolutely. And it's something that really everybody can get on board with the whole family. Plus having them at the ready makes it super convenient. Yeah. And they've got all of the traditional varieties that you're familiar with. So everything from chicken and rice to chicken and noodles, even a sausage and gumbo, and all of them are 100% vegan. You're going to get 10 to 15 grams of protein per serving. There's no cholesterol. They're free from dairy, artificial colors and flavors, and trans fat. So something that's really wholesome and quick, too. The other day, my husband and I, we had been out all day. We have two kids, and we were so hungry, and I wanted vegetables. We didn't have anything in the house. So I had the minestrone, and I felt good because I got in those vegetables. And sometimes, don't you just feel more confident, better knowing that you ate well, even if it was something that was quick to prepare? Absolutely. You feel like it's a major win for the day, for sure. And having it at the ready is like a double win. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially as we get to this sort of fall and winter time of year, sometimes soup is just comforting and something that we want. So I like to keep the Guardian on hand and Guardian.com has all the retailers and places to get it. It's an easy way to incorporate it. And as you said, making the, uh, the effort to get more plant plant power into your diet, whether it is fruits and vegetables, or let's talk more about those proteins, right? That's a mm -hmm. big part of the conversation. Plant-based proteins. Do you have some favorite go-tos? So I love all the Gardein options. So we're talking about the soup, but they actually have these little frozen tenders that mimic chicken tenders, but they're made with a plant-based alternative. Put them in the oven. I love those. I make bowls with them using like sweet potato and kale, but I also want people to sort of rethink their plate. When we're planning meals, a lot of times we plan meat first, right? Why don't you swap that and plan your side first and let meat sort of play the smaller role and you fill with the plants first. So we just kind of change our thinking to get all those plant-based benefits. And I also recommend, you know, if you're not ready to be vegetarian yet, but you do want to encourage some more plant-based meals, cut down your meat portion and amp up the plants. Things like, you know, the edamame, the lentils, the chickpeas, more beans. We could all get benefits from more beans. Shift the ratio and you might actually feel more energetic and find that you don't miss the meat as much. And you'll be energized too by the savings when you start cutting <laughs> back on the, the meat portions as well. That so is some true great too. advice. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a good balance and the environment too does benefit as well. Absolutely. Carissa Galloway, registered dietitian nutritionist talking today with Gardein Soup. Some great ideas there. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. And we'll be sure to share all the information so you can learn more about the full line from Gardein and all the options available. That'll be available right there on our website. For more information on Gardein plant-based soups, just visit them online at Gardein.com. Bill, we were talking about this on Friday and the importance of really effective meal planning, you know, in order to keep it healthy. So thinking about what you're going to eat in advance often makes it a little bit easier. But Gardein looks like they're adding quick, healthy meals that are going to make things just as easy without some of that planning that I always forget to do. <laughs> well, I'm a guy, so I don't plan meals. So, <laughs> it's like five minutes before it's time to eat. Oh, what do we got? And so that's that's me. But, you know, it's interesting. I was watching that interview, and, and w one of the big things I got out of it was to plan the vegetables first, and even if you're still eating meat, you know, kind of do the vegetables or side dishes or salad or whatever you're doing make that the star of the show. And then if you if you're still like me, still eat meat, then uh, obviously you can do the other on the side. And we kind of been building to, up to that anyway with all the diets we've been on over the years where salad kind of became the big deal. And so all of this prep goes into the salad. Now we've got, um, Maybe we've got fake hamburgers that are pretty darn good, you know? And so that all of that stuff has come along to help out a lot. So if you're really heading in that direction and you want to do that, uh, it's got to be so much easier. And somebody like Gardein, who, uh, you know, I was looking at the sausage and gumbo soup that's made from plants. Ten years ago, you'd have showed me that, and I went, I bet that tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> but now it probably does taste great. Yeah, yeah. And I think these are things that I would keep at my home anyway. You know, we are meat eaters around here, but just looking at some of the, the soups and the ingredients, they're probably very, very good. And I would imagine would be a great option to kind of have some newer soups. Like when was the last time you were able to get sausage and gumbo in a can? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, there's that old saying, and I love this, uh, all things in moderation, and moderation's the first to go. So, <laughs> so, Very true. Yeah, so, uh, you know, but th this is a helpful step when you've got something that uh, looks like it probably tastes pretty darn good, and it's good for you at the same time. And you can, you can do this in stages, like she's saying. There's all that different stages of vegetarian, and of course, you know, if you want to crack that door open just a little and step in, they're gonna make it easy to do. Folks, something else easy to do, stick around, because we're gonna be right back.